Hey beauties and welcome to today's video. If you watched some of my previous videos, you'll have seen that I did do a eye look using the Vizio Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette. I did ask you guys if you wanted to see everything in this collection, right from foundation up, and most of you said yes. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have already primed my skin using the Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer, as well as, like always, the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. So the first palette we're going to hop in with is actually Volume 2. This is the Foundation and Concealer Palette. I did use the white in a special effects look that I did, but I haven't really tested out their foundations yet. So we're going to do it together. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm probably going to have to mix a few shades together to get my perfect tone. Let me mix them together and then I'll be back. Also, don't mind my hair. I haven't done it yet. Okay, so I do have some foundation mixed up on my crystal here. I'll show you which ones I mixed. I went in with some almond, some alabaster, and a touch of both sand and caramel. Let me remove my spectacles and zoom you in. First, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D foundation brush because this is kind of a, you know, thicker consistency. I want to be able to like really blend it in and then if I don't like the blend on that, I have my sponge here. Here goes nothing. That's one thin layer. I'm going to go in and just build it up a little bit in some spots if I can. Now in with porcelain, I'm going to use this to kind of brighten up the under eyes, I think. We're going to try it. And I'm just going to go in with my Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. Ooh, this might be really light. I'm just going to dab a little bit. And then go in with my foundation brush. That still has a bit of the foundation on it. And blend that out because that's way too light. But paired with a little bit of that leftover foundation. It's perfect. Now going in with the Volume 3 Powder, Highlight, and Contour Palette. I'm first going to go in with this translucent setting powder right here on my big fluffy powder brush. And let's set this. I don't know if you can see, but that powder did make me look a smidge chalky. We'll see once everything else is on and I set it all in with setting spray, we'll see how it looks. For bronzer, I think I'm going to go in with extra right here. I 
I think the bronzer is really nice. Now we're gonna skip up to volume six, which is a blush palette. These shades look so beautiful. I think the one that's calling me out today is Mimi, which is this middle shade here. It is very pigmented, so go in with a light hand. I'm gonna take my powder brush with nothing else on it and just buff over that a little bit. I'm not sure where my good highlighting brush went at the moment, so I'm just going to use this bigger, fluffier one. Bear with me. I think I'm going to mix the two end ones here, Pearl and Glimmer. So that highlight is really powdery. So I'm just going to try taking my damp sponge in with the lightest pearl shade right here. And I'm going to see if I can apply it a little bit better that way. Just have it on the sponge here. I do like how that went on, I'd say. Use a damp sponge for the highlight. I'm going to quickly just do my brows using the Benefit Pricely My Brow Pencil. I'll be back. Okay, for those of you who are interested in seeing like a wear test on this foundation to see how long it wears throughout the day, it is currently 11.49. Let's just take a minute to have a look at this foundation. Working with it was a little more difficult because it was so stiff, but now that it's on the skin, I think it looks really, really nice. This is in my, you know, ring light lightings and stuff. I will show you again outside in natural light but I just wanted to appreciate this for a moment. For eyeshadow, the first look I did, I used just the neutrals palette. This time, I do want to use the Shadow Impressed Pigment palette because, I mean, these shades just look so fun. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump off camera, I'm going to do one eye, figure out what I'm gonna do, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how I did that look on this eye. This is the look that I came up with. I don't have any mascara or liner on at the moment. Now I'm going to show you how I did it on this eye. Going in with just the Neutrals eyeshadow palette and the shade Backy. I'm just going to put this kind of as like a transition shade. concentrating it more in the outer corner. I do bring my shadows up because I have downward slanted eyes. Now going in with Chi Chi, I really just want to darken up the outer corner basically. and then drag extra through the crease. And then just soften the edge a little bit with that first brush. In with the foundation and concealer palette, I'm just going to take this white shade called Alabaster, and I'm going to just cut my crease. Once it's on, I just like to kind of smooth it out, blend it in a bit with my finger. 
I don't know if my camera stopped recording or not. I sure hope it didn't. I'll find out when I go to edit. If it did stop recording, I apologize. I just went through and I did a rainbow melting the colors together. Okay, side note, when I went back to edit this piece and look, part of my, I don't know why it wasn't filming, but I'm gonna show you what I did to create the rainbow. And I used these four shades, Venice, Shy, No Rules, and Happy Days. I'm just gonna quickly kind of show you how I did it. On my flat Juvia's Place, this is the 002 Small Definer Brush, I first went in with the pink, and I just dipped it on one side, and then right away, you can also go in with the second shade on the other side into Shy. So your brush has pink and blue on either sides. And then I just went in, I'm just gonna brighten up this one a little bit. And I dabbed on the pink, dabbed on the blue. And then I did the same thing with the green and the yellow. Green and yellow. And then we just gonna touch these up a little bit go back and forth between the two shades and just get a nice blend going in like so. Back to the video. I'm so sorry that that didn't film, but I got ya. Now I have this little brush and I'm gonna go in with Chi Chi again. This is going to just be swept across the lower lash line. With this pointy little brush, I'm gonna go in with Sugars, this white one. And that's going to go in my very inner corner. Up through that pink a little bit, and then down throughout the bottom a little bit as well. There is no liner and lashes, so let's just do a quick. All right, you guys, it is done, it's on. I did throw on just my Huda Beauty cream lip because my lips are so chapped right now. I didn't want to try to muck with the stiff formula. All in all though, I mean, let's zoom you in. So far, the foundation is sitting nicely. My favorite is the eyes. I mean, the pigmentation in those bright shadows is insane. I'm just trying to move the light here so that you guys can really see. Look, ah, it's so beautiful. I also really enjoyed the blush palette and the bronzer. Uh, the eye, both eyeshadow palettes are absolutely beautiful. As for the foundation, you know, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We're gonna have to wait and see. So far, I mean, it does make the skin look kind of cakey. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but in real life, I mean, we'll see. Sometimes foundations like this, once your natural oils start to seep through, it looks a little better. So we'll be back in a few hours with a check-in. First, I'm gonna move over to the window as usual. I'll show you what this is looking like in natural light. And I did get some wigs in the mail, so if my hair looks different a little bit later on, it's because I am going to be filming a wig video as well. Here we are over by the window. You can see, I mean, the foundation doesn't look bad. I don't know if it's my favorite yet. That highlight's pretty like a pink shift to it and the eyes I'm still loving the eyes they're so bright it's beautiful I'll be back in a few hours all right you guys as promised my hair is looking different if you want to see some wig reviews check out this video right up here 
It is a short, quick, fun little video on some super affordable wigs. Anyways, back to like the whole foundation wear test. Let me take my glasses off. It is now 423. So I've had the foundation on for what, four hours? I think it was like noon, four and a half hours. I think it was noon when I put it on. Let me show you. Right away, you can see where my glasses have worn away. The rest of the foundation though, you can definitely see my oils have started to come through, which actually took away some of that cakey kind of look we had going on with the skin. So I am liking the foundation a little more, but it is looking a little too oily in spots. So I am going to just go in with the Kosas, this is the Airy Cloud Set Powder. Just a little bit. I just wanna see. Cause I, I don't really care for the translucent setting powder that came in the kit. That made that look a whole lot better. It still has some luminosity. All right, so far so good. The eyeshadow is holding up fabulously. I mean, these colors are going strong, super strong. I love it. I am absolutely loving it. 424 now. We'll be back in a few more hours and we'll see how long we can wear this for. All right, you guys, I am back for my final check in. It is now 9.29 at night. I've had the foundation on for nine and a half hours. At first, I didn't know what I thought about this foundation. I'm just looking for a mirror here so I can really like get up close and look with you guys. I'm gonna take the glasses off. Let's zoom you in for this. Definitely right away, you can see the, the glasses marks. But guys, the rest of it, look. I mean, yes, you can see some luminosity coming through. I think that if I would have set this foundation with my usual setting powders, like my Becca under eye setting powder, and then either the Urban Decay or the Laura Mercier setting powder, and set it in with my sponge like I usually do, I think this foundation would have held on so beautifully. The coverage is still there. It has rubbed away a little bit on the chin. You can see some oiliness, but I think that's just because of how I set it, like I said. So we're just going to grab some of this Jaclyn Hill uh, pressed setting powder. And I'm just going to press a little bit into the skin, just on one side of my face. Okay, let's see. This side, I just reset. This side, I did not. I don't know if you guys can see on camera a difference between the two. It definitely cut back on some of the luminosity I had going on with my skin. But seriously guys, for wearing this foundation for the nine and a half hours that I had it on, I mean, I, I filmed all other videos today, put wigs off and on, which by the way, if you do like wigs, check out this video, you'll like it. I, I think this, it turned out beautiful. I was iffy to begin with, but now 
then I've worn it and it's sunken in to the skin. It looks, it looks fantastic. Let me know what you guys thought of this entire look down in the comments below. If you liked it, also leave this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already a part of the Men's Beauty family, what are you waiting for? Go down there, hit subscribe, because you don't want to miss the crazy things I'm going to be doing next. Just a little heads up. Anyways, before I start to ramble on too much like I usually tend to do, we're, gonna, we're just going to cut it off and I hope you all have a fabulous night or day.